Friends, welcome back to Drawing Conversation, where I am your dedicated nerd host and artist, Danny Fisher. And today, we're drawing the origin and history of Captain America. Let's get drawing. When Captain America throws his shield, all those who oppose his might must yield. <laughs> yeah, the original theme song was uh, something like that. Anyway, guys, before we get started, I just want to thank you for your time. Thank you for coming back. Guys, I really appreciate it. So today, well, today we're having a conversation about Captain America. See what I did there? Conversation? Drawing? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, now Captain America was first published in the pages of Timely Comics in March 1941. Yes, I said Timely. And I couldn't believe it either. You see, Marvel was originally founded as Timely Comics in 1939, then changed to Atlas Comics and finally becoming Marvel Comics in 1961. So that officially makes Captain America older than Marvel Comics? Now the story of Captain America begins with a young, poor Irish immigrant family living in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. His parents, Joseph and Sarah Rogers, had a son, which they named Steve. Surprisingly enough, Chris Evans is also first generation Irish American. And didn't he just nail the role? I mean, man, I don't think anybody could have played it that good. However, sadly, in the fictional history of Steve Rogers, both of his parents pass away when he's very young. Steven, ironically enough, was an aspiring artist with dreams of making comics. But as fate would have it, the Nazis began the invasion of Europe and the US was soon dragged in. I'm sure you know what happens next. Steve tries to enlist, but he's too scrawny and is rejected. But his determination was noticed by General Chester Phillips, who just happened to be the head of Project Rebirth, and they're looking for volunteers. So Steve is juiced up with the top secret Super Soldier Serum. And yes, you know it. He is transformed into Captain America. And what I kind of want to point out is that the serum isn't just to make you swole, it's to make you the best version of what humans are capable of. At least that was the original writer's intent. Not to just be faster and stronger, but also bring your IQ, senses, reaction time, all to superhuman levels. What's more is that the serum gives Captain America a photographic memory and lets him process information at an accelerated rate. Honestly, I wish they would tap more into that ability of Captain America. I mean, I would love to hear him outdo Wolverine in terms of his senses, and maybe even outwit Bruce Banner or Reed Richards. But at any rate, Steve is transformed into Captain America and goes on to fight the Nazis in World War II, but not before being given his legendary shield. But not the shield we know today. Instead, the first shield was shaped in a triangle wedge and was made of pure steel. Unfortunately, that shield was lost and the fate of it was never explained. He was later given a second triangle-shaped shield by none other than Franklin D. Roosevelt. Let that soak in for a bit. Because before doing the research for this, I didn't know about that either. But it still wasn't the shield we know and love today. No? You see, Marvel was sued by comic publisher MLC for infringing on their character's design and the shield was then changed forever to the circular shape we know today. The circular shape shield was fictionally created by a metallurgist by the name of Myron McLean. And it is Myron who combines adamantium, vibranium, as well as steel and other alloys to make Captain America's perfect shield. But funny thing is, he falls asleep during the long process of making the shield and could never duplicate the recipe. Very convenient. Now Cap Shield has had many variations over the years, but the round disc has been the defining shape. My personal favorite version was the Photonic Energy Shield. This shield had a very short run. It was powered by a small wristband worn under his glove and could project a near 
indestructible shield. But more than that, it could create other weapons like bow staffs and like energy projectiles. I'm not saying it was amazing or a perfect replacement, but I always thought it would have been cool for Cap to have a backup. I don't know, Marvel and fans never really got behind it. Get it? Got behind it? Cause it's a, cause it's a shield. It, anyway, Cap goes on to fight in World War II, helping the allied powers defeat Germany. But just at the end of the war, Steve is frozen in a block of ice. You see, he was attempting to disarm an explosive over the Arctic, and things didn't go according to plan. And he was locked, frozen solid. Now, while this would kill an ordinary human, Captain America survives, due entirely to the super soldier serum. And there he sat, in suspended animation, for 20 years. He's soon discovered by the Avengers, and later joins the team in the pages of Avengers issue number four. Yeah, for the record, he's not the first Avenger, and for that matter, neither is Captain Marvel. Oh my gosh, let's make that totally clear. Disgraceful. The fact is, the first Avengers were, and in no particular order, Ant-Man, Wasp, Iron Man, Thor, and the Incredible Hulk. But you see, the team felt that the Hulk was a little unstable, so Cap was brought onto the team, and the rest was history. With that said, Captain America has been a staple of Marvel Comics, and, and really comics in general. He has gone on to star in television series, video games, and multiple movies over the decades. He has stood as a symbol of American grit and perseverance. But the defining ability isn't his strength or speed or honestly even the shield. It's his ability to size up any situation at a glance and know exactly the best way to handle it. Being so long lived and having fought in so many battles, this is the true strength of Captain America. And when you think about it, don't you want the most experienced person to be leading the team? That kind of presence alone can determine the fate of a battle. And this, at least for me, is what has kept Captain America relevant and always a force to be reckoned with. Friends, thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. And if you would, head to the comment section, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing and what type of characters you want to see drawn, and I will Talk to you again soon.